So when you are coming for the first time, you have to understand that there's so many flavors and different ways of meditations and different approaches and of course different teachers and all that. And the way that it works through us is that it's a dance between you and the group and the whole world. So there are three levels of consciousness that we are going to be touching and becoming aware of. One is your own consciousness, like your way of thinking. When it when you're thinking, and it's not an automated uh, stream of thought, but it's, oh, it's my life. Then the moment you have put in and my and you're aware of something, it's your awareness and your consciousness is at that level. When you are aware of the hurt of the others on the planet, when you are aware and you are in full sympathy and empathy with the hurt of others on the planet, then you are at a global level of consciousness. And at a level of your own consciousness, it can be, yes, things are good and bad. And as I said, there is no real right answer. If you're happy with your life, how can you be? There are others on the planet who are connected to you. And you think that they are not connected? You're on the same planet Earth as they, playing out in the same movie, except your role is different, their role is different. It's We are on the same autobus or a plane. And if the plane dive, is taking a dive, then we are all connected. There's no way that the passenger who's in the luxury or the, or the luxury seats is going to be feeling happy. Oh, I'm sitting in the luxury seats or something like that. No, it's equal. So the first level of consciousness filtered with your own thinking, focused on of being aware of the planet, life, existence through your own filter of thinking. And it can be a pessimist thinking, that can be an optimist thinking that people, oh, there's a law of attraction, I'm going to think positive, attract and Mercedes, attract a Mercedes, attract a Mercedes. And I've seen that people, and they do get a Mercedes. The universe is like a loving parent. If you really put, I want money, 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 I want money, money, money. If you sing that song enough number of times, the universe will notice it and will give you the money that you deserve. And of course, the money that you deserve is not going to make you happy. We all, because <laughs> money cannot make us happy. It can make us only comfortable. You can get the things, but money doesn't mean that you're going to get the respect and love. In fact, the moment you have got money, the question will be, this person talking with me, is he talking with my money or with me? What does he want from me? And then the moment you have this pen on any relationship, what's in it for me? What's in it for the other person? Then there is no exchange of unconditional love and the relationship has gone down. It may become pragmatic. You might be meeting with the a CEO of a company and you might be a CEO and your com your communication with the other person as well. Oh, I, this is in it for me. This that's it. And you you have a consensus, the keyword, and both of you make money. But it does not mean that you are happier. That's just an illusion. You will be more comfortable. You might even be more egoistical. Oh, my life, I achieved this, I talked it out, I did this, I did this, etc. So that's your level of consciousness. For a meditation, you are coming to expand your horizon, at least of thinking. There are two types of meditation of the millions of levels. The first type of meditation is close your eyes, go to a sacred place or hear the hear the falling water and uh, this part of you is at peace there is a light coming up and down and you are at peace 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 and because your imagination is the most powerful 
filter on the planet all that peace inside your body will will make you feel peaceful and then the next day you will go back to being the same old shitty you that who used to be there except that you had some hours of peace so now you are even more aggressively i want to make more money i have had uh, these meditation sessions now i'm really cool now i'm going to be making more money so you will continue with the path on which you were the meditation over out here is a dance but the objective is only one to evolve to spiritually from tomorrow you are going to be blessing yourself that may i be from tomorrow a fearless giver of whatever you think right now is lacking in your life it can be i don't have enough love i don't have enough understanding uh, i don't have enough money whatever it is whatever is the crack in your personality that makes you feel that you need a meditation that crack needs to be filled up by becoming a giver of that lack it can be anything it can be oh the universe doesn't trust me it doesn't love me it doesn't this and this this is i could have been having more having more money everyone has that i should have been deserving more money and this and that and today's meditation is about opening the third eye and some of you are seeing for the first time so third eye can be invoked only when you are guided and trust the lord god inside you and inside you the conditional name for that infinity which exists in everything and everyone we call it shiva you can call it jesus you can call it god you can call it allah and the group has to be equally comfortable it can be buddha buddha's nature what this point is called whatever for the purpose of this meditation we are calling it shiva you and me we have had many lives and have had tasted and tested all the religions and in this one i am in a body of a hindu so it's more it's just more makes more uh, easier for this culture background but if you really want we should we can we can do it with allah but shiva is the name that will create the vibration today that will expand your horizon of thinking and therefore of your actions from tomorrow so that you stop having these fears regarding your body your ego whatever you have and you don't have and the fear i have given you the answer is taken care of by becoming the giver if you think that you don't have enough money in life then you start giving to charity if you think that you don't have enough respect in life then at least by a prayer you give it off to whoever caused you to feel less that's the simple thing you can proceed or you can drop off but that's the key that we will be praying so that you become aware of the three levels of consciousness the first level is of yourself and that you are uh, you think everyone thinks and you have this particular set of values and likes and dislikes etc which make up your personality now your personality has got different will be some people will see meat and become oh that's protein and will feel good about it and your it so the seeing something invokes a thought that thought invokes an emotion in you and that emotion invokes a choice in you you might you will be very surprised to learn but most people have problems with intuition because their emotions are dead emotions are dead and therefore the third eye it cannot work i'll explain it like this most of us 
want to have a third eye intuition and a lot of people ask me intuition third eye this 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 and we don't really need it in our life we don't really need it that's why we don't have it so much but if you do want it then there is a particular thing that you have to let go of and that thing that you have to let go of is of your attraction to the physical world so most of the people who have got this uh, i sometimes meet people who have the latest car the latest car the biggest home and this this is and so much amount of focus is on money and materialism that there, there is zero or none spiritual development so if we focus so much on the money 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 then we need all the techniques the technique to make money is to go to the wall street and hang out there and this and that etc and there are tons of these techniques and there are so many books at least for the writer of those books they made money so someone makes money out of them so if you do money 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 but the more we do money 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 the less we become spiritual 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 and the less we become intuitive 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 because intuition is your connection to the second and the third levels of consciousness so most people are living with the first level of consciousness which is i me mean mine i me mean mine i me mean i want more money i want more respect i want more this and then that is that is what is in them and emotionally they are only i want this and they are ruled by that emotion but the reality is that intuition is against pragmatism so when you become spiritual and you want the third eye to be opened you have to become unpractical i'm not talking about the people who are uh, claim to be psychics and it may they may have those powers they may not have those powers but they have uh, opened a psychic uh, school and courses and uh, after everything then uh, do you if you really want that tarun i'm not able to make any money supposing that happens and you say i want to be uh, an, a psychic with charging 20 dollars uh, and sitting with an orb and uh, Uh, i want to be at least enough so that i can make money i will teach you it's a very very minimum pay job and you will feel like you are scamming people but you can be taught that if that's what you i want to if that's what your aim is because today's uh, class is third eye opening so if that with my third eye open i will make money okay okay if that's what your aim is but you're not going to become spiritual you will feel no matter what it works out you will feel less and the goal is to make you feel abundant the goal is to make you whole but if it's just that if it's if you want to have the psychic ability as you have seen in the movies those ladies they look like jane marple or someone and it's and the, the people who can talk with the dead and all that just because they have been shot in a video or something it looks glamorized those lives are not good people who people can become mediums and start talking with the dead why why it's so easy to talk with the dead it's very easy to talk with the dead it's more difficult to talk with your wife that's the thing you have to take care of the living my dear not of the dead the dead are already dead they have their chance on this planet and if they again want a chance it will happen it will work out but becoming a medium and all those that sort of psychic thing it doesn't help you you will have really bad lives low quality lives i can guarantee you that for every jane marple like helping the helping the police with the finding of the bodies or the psychic do you know robert yes and the queen and is he saying that and everyone is happy in there it's just it's it's a televised happiness it's not real happiness do not venture out into something 
the laws of which you do not really understand. When the dead start working with you, you are whatever you are working with. You are whoever you hang out with. So don't disturb the dead. Let them be at peace and don't call them and this, etc. Live your life instead of talking with the dead and psychic ability so that I can see what's in the other. If you really want to know what's in the other person's mind, just ask the other person and watch the eyes. Is this person, and you can ask yourself this, because it's your life. Is this person telling me a lie? And you will have the truth. Always. All of this. You can allow the other person to lie to you with your permission. Because it is the convention of the world. It's more practical. You don't really, it's, I know that you don't really like me. You're, you're in an office. I also don't like you or something. You say, good day. How are you day? Great. Yeah, my do is well. Oh, wow. So the point is, you all have, we all have those, that level of psychic ability. But we will create today an understanding and open your third eye so that you can live in abundance without interfering into other people's life. It's not that, oh, now that you have the psychic ability, now you're going to get the lottery card, lottery, and you can do it. But if you walk down the pragmatical way of the world, you will become less. That's what the whole world is about. When the whole world is living money, 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 half of the 80% of the news is uh, right now COVID. And then it's all about how, which action the uh, cryptocurrencies went up, this went up, etc. And uh, I told also that the cryptocurrencies can go to any level, but they are backed by criminal people. And all money is sort of, I agree that if $100 is there, I'll compensate you. That's the government does and we are holding the reserves in gold technically that's how the currency gets it and the cryptocurrency is just very shady people deciding upon this is that we decide and the whole thing with that is that it is not controlled by the government so from a hundred dollars it's gone to sixty thousand and it can go to hundred thousand people who have invested in it some people have lost some people have made but it's not the way of you can get I can guarantee you one thing. Even if you invest a hundred dollars and you make a million dollars, it is due to something shady. That shadiness of that money will take away the joy of the money. The sh we think that money doesn't stink. It stinks like no one else's business. The way that you have earned your money is of supreme importance supreme important how you earn that money and then if you have earned it you can you are going to be more careful with it. you're not really going to be like gambling it or doing this or so etc so it's easy come easy and i can speak from experience i was in russia and what at one point i got some money from a, i was working as a bribes man and at some point i know that money became wasted and it spoiled my relationships at that time with my family and then when it wasn't there so, so no matter how much you make, you stay within, you spend whatever you earn honestly, and you're going to be happy. You start to compare your life with others, you're always going to be unhappy. And if you start to compare your life with people who have made dishonestly some money, you're going to be extremely unhappy. And that unhappiness may be a good thing, because it may make you more spiritual. And once you become spiritual, for sure, the meditation today will open your heart so that no matter whether you have money or you don't have money, it is like we are in a kid's kindergarten and suddenly the teacher comes out and he says, Oh, oh, now that you are in a college or university, you can take this class and you will get all the best results, etc. And do you really feel like that doing that? Do you really feel like going to the kindergarten and getting all the or all the candies that the kids as a kid used to love? Probably not, because now you're in a different level. So 
the money option will fall away because we are going to be changing and become spiritually mature, resilient, robust, and most important, givers. Givers. The whole world with its money and focus on the money has lost its intuition. There have been some scientists who have been able to show that the pineal gland where the seat of intuition as per all Eastern, and even if you go to uh, even if you go to Vatican, in front of the Vatican, they have a huge acorn, huge cement acorn in front in the center of the Vatican garden. It, it is a symbol of pineal gland. Because the pineal gland looks like an acorn. And it's there. I was there. I saw it. So there are hidden, it's hidden, it's not so hidden also, but the pineal gland was recognized by Descartes and others as being the seat. And there was a reason for that. And it was, and Indians, etc., all recognized the pineal. So there have been scientists who have shown that in the last hundred years, the pineal gland has shrunk up. So our intuition has suffered. We have become more of money money and what that means is we have become consumers and what does a consumer do what do all these movies with zombie like behavior show it shows us mindlessly buying 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 and if you need it buy but what it leads down to is that it makes you pragmatic money at all costs is good money doesn't stink etc no you want to become spiritual and you want to become third eye opening you have to promise yourself that you will live honestly with a value system. You will live joyously in whatever you earn, honestly. And that's your first and major step towards opening your intuition. And it doesn't, nowadays the time is very dynamic. If you promise yourself right now, it will already start opening. All you have to do is promise to yourself, I'm going to be living honestly, not comparing my life with others, blessing others. And I feel the pain of those who have less. When you start to feel the pain who have less, automatically you start to have gratitude for what you have. When you have gratitude for what you have, you feel how much of abundance has life given you. How much of grace there is in your life. Otherwise, you would not be involved in this dance with the group. I'm so sorry I'm to put it egoistically as if we are some super. But if the grace of the teachings was not including you, there is no way that you would be able to join this session. As simple as that. These teachings, they are not meant for popularity. They are not meant to make monetize, digitize. Most of the things nowadays are, it's a very strange word. People are so empty. People are so empty that they're willing to watch others live their life. And this phenomenon of people, first it was like, uh, because I've been working in the IT for for 15, 10, 20 years. I saw this phenomenon that people that uh, young female, most of the time she was Caucasian in Los Angeles, some wannabe actress, would just put her video camera on and live her life and people would keep on paying, paying, paying. And she would be feeling like semi-hooker type and she might be able to enjoy life. She might not. It's a different story. But people are so empty that they paid and it's a very difficult time for humanity when people are willing to pay to watch someone else who they think has got some quality and what that quality was some, some low level fat in her body. So she was probably skinny, probably with white skin, not necessarily, and a symmetrical face. So I never had the chest. Not great. I didn't. <laughs> okay. So point is, that we are all hooked up in a very strange world where people are so unfulfilled that they pay. 
And then slowly this became even a phenomenon that people are living Instagram lives. And someone really asked me, that if I had the life that I put on, put it on the Facebook and the Instagram, I would be so happy. Because if you have the need to take a digital photo and put it on the Instagram or the internet, it is a very deep depression. But you are not self realized You want to prove to the world that you are happy. But if you want to prove to the world that you're happy, it means that you are basically have a huge doubt about your own happiness or worth. If you need the approval ratings from somewhere else on the planet based on digitized photographs of your life, and those photographs, most of the time, the first three photographs can be true. After the first three photographs, all the photographs are going to be faked. Fake that least in the sense, oh, I want to be looking good. So it's fake. It's not your real. So it's a fake, but it is working. And people are becoming influencers and influencers are now a profession. So an influencer, it's about getting attention, attention, attention. And we don't have any attention. We are playing with our attention on cell phones and this and that. So we don't have attention on the real things on the planet. We pay attention to fake lives. And these fake lives are wearing something and they will say color of the house should be this color of the panties or the underwear should be like this and this, this and people are buying. And this phenomenon has exploded. So there are empty people pushing off emptiness to empty people. And this chain reaction is so huge that a group like ours or a meditation like this is needed in the universe to try to balance it out. And how do we balance it? By blessing everything. So if supposing you are following or you are an influencer and you are following someone and you admire and you want to be like that person, do what I did with the Chinese people. In where I live in Toronto, all the houses, everything has now been bought up by the people from Asia. And I don't have, and I was very jealous, and I was very English. So I started to blame. And that's how I don't know whether they felt or not, but I got a sense of peace. And I'm able to continue them. So then you see someone ha is having a digitized plastic life, etc. And for some reason you think, oh, that life is beautiful, bless it, but do not put yourself down. Do not see God, even in that emptiness and oh my God, someone has been able to make money just by is continuing to make money, which everyone wants by living their life and putting their photograph. But be aware of the huge amount of proud, being proud of your honest life. Be very proud of the difficulties in your honest life so that you don't put yourself down and then your intuition will open up. And always, it's all about opening of the heart. Heart and the intuition, these two chakras, they work together. If your heart has got a heaviness to it, there's no way that your consciousness is going to expand to be pitting others. If you are yourself in, my life is tough and this is tough and it's so tough and no one loves me or I don't have that love or support from the universe. At the end of the day, it comes to that. I don't have enough support from the universe. Even though you are existing quite well off in North America, you're not facing neither hunger, nor cold in reality, nor do you really have any real problem. There's no war zone or something. It's all in your head. And that war zone has been created by your thinking that money, etc., are really important and you have become a consumer. So you have to become a spiritual angel. And it's not, it's so easy. You just have to let go. To open your intuition and becoming an angel, you have to let go that money is important. 
And how do you do that? By bless those who you think have got more of it. And by having sympathy. So in India, these days, every day, a few hundred people die due to suicides out of having nothing to eat. And it's not your normal suicide out of depression. It's not the suicide like in my daughter's school, the few of the kids in the 11th class uh, committed suicide. So there is a different kind of angst. They had everything, money, etc., everything, but something, some bullying, the parents didn't understand whatever happened. They committed because the stress levels in North America are high, but it's, they're artificial. There really was no hunger or no, nothing was really bad happening. It was all in the mind. In India, a farmer comes home, brings home that poison, which is given by the, makes porridge, makes the family eat that porridge first, then eats it himself. Because he knows that when he commits suicide, his family without him as the bread earner will be raped by the society. So that's why he makes sure that he kills those that he loves first. So can you imagine the level of and it's happening every freaking day. A few families, a few farmer families in a particular community are forced and undergoing suicide. Is your stress level, no matter how high it is, that, is it really even one millionth of this what I'm sharing with you right now? It's not. So we first acknowledge our own blessings have sympathy and empathy for others. And that's how your consciousness expands to the second level where you feel the hurt of the whole plan, not only of what's happening with you. And that is breaking of the shell, the first shell of I Nima. And when you are at a level of the world, then through a clarity, we'll be reaching the third level of consciousness where you can open your intuition. So to get to the exercise, close your eyes. All words that have God's name in it, in any way, in any form, be it Buddha, be it Allah, be it Jesus, Mother Mary, Archangel Michael, all God's names, all words have got words in it, all words are a vibration and all words in a particular way combined together create the mystic name of God in whichever religion you believe in. And we are today going with Shiva. But you could also in your mind, it is whatever opens you up. You can go with Jesus, Mother Mary, Buddha. You can go with the group and you'll feel the dynamics of the group working together. And for those who are coming for the first time, Will be the group will be sending to you rays of love and respect most of that. That's what you need. And you will feel a tangible wave of energy hitting you in the head and the heart. And you just wash yourself with that. Om. Om is the vibration of the universe. Om is the vibration deep inside your heart. Om is the word with which, as it is said in the Bible, the, at first was the word. That word is Om. Why? Because so many people believe in it. We are all one. One billion people, more than one billion people, believe in that word. And one billion also believe in Allah. So you can use Allah also. We are using Om. Om Namo Shiva. Closing eyes. Since we want to develop the third eye, put your total awareness. So most people are always thinking and that is like a rain dissipated unfocused water just flowing down thoughts 
I want to you to take all those thoughts and focus it like a laser in the center of your forehead. Oh, laser. All the power of your consciousness focused into one word, one symbol. Om. Om is like a three in the center of your forehead. Om. Om. Feel a real eye, a golden eye opening and forming. The whole of the universe is in every molecule. Every molecule has got the DNA, every of the whole universe, just like each the scientists can make out from your one skin, um, skin part, they can make out your whole DNA. They can make out from your DNA who that person is. So the DNA of the universe is in you. And universe is not a planets and this. The universe is this energy which is pulsing. The universe is energy of love which is pulsing with oh and you put this huge energy flowing through you into the center of the forehead from inside inside you in the pineal gland in the center of your universe which is the center of your skull from that point, put a laser light from, from that point where inside your mind, all the infinity of the universe, where is it processed? Behind the eyes, in the center of the skull, which is the pineal gland. So with the first ohm, we have activated it like a flower, like a lotus opening. Oh. And now put the, put the total attention into the center of your forehead. Oh. Oh. And see it like a golden orb or a golden eye opening. Oh. Oh. Just like a light bulb in a dark room removes everything just by being there. The golden light in your head is making all your thoughts and judgments and your style of thinking, your intellect is changing, is becoming golden. As you see yourself, this life, as just one of the many lives, this body as just one of the many bodies, this second as the only reality. Everything that has happened in the past, you can't change it. You can't change what happened five seconds ago, five months ago, 50 months ago, five years ago, 50 lives ago, you can't change it. You can't change what will happen, but you can control now and affect both past and future. I'll explain. With the golden light of O in the center of your forehead, you are able to see your whole past lives as blessings. You are able to see the future life as a blessing for others. See the future life as a blessing for others. And this very second, open your third eye to the reality of you. So it open, it becomes like a window as well as a mirror. And you see yourself, not like a person with a body, with a mind, with an intellect. You see yourself in this magic mirror of your forehead. You see yourself as a golden light. As if eternal vechne zalato esiani, we vidi te sebe kak zalato esiani, va vaik shape nam zerkalat, va shivo.
prastranstvu. In your universe, see yourself as a golden light who has had many lives, who has had inhabited many lives, and who may have many lives in this life, in other lives, in other dimensions on this planet. Oh. So you bless yourself. I want to have an open third eye to see myself in the past, present and future. In the past, see yourself as a seeker. Now see yourself as an enabler. Someone who enables you to be who you are and see yourself in the future as a golden light helping others. That is your third eye is opening. Oh. Oh. The whole girl, the whole group is sending love. To Zarina who had asked, she's young and she feels unsupported in personal and in and in professional life. So we are sending to her blessings. So through the third I send to her, first we send blessings to the people that we know. Oh. 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 And she's sharing her blessings with all the people in Israel, with all the people in India that she feels sorry about. And with the two people in her life who are making her very uncomfortable right now. Oh. We can't ask the people to change. We can change our own outlook. If they are making us feel uncomfortable, most of the time, people who are uncomfortable themselves make other people uncomfortable. So they need some help. So help them, Zarina, and that's how you help get better. The group is sending to you blessings, you send to others in your life who have caused you some amount of hurt. Oh. Oh. We are sending love to Dula so that she feels all the love, all the love that she she feels that she deserves for trying so hard. Oh. And she's sending love to the person who, with whom she became disappointed. Don't be disappointed. Just don't expect things uh, from people that they are not. Nowadays, most of the people, even though they look healthy, they are into this money, money mind, and then everyone feels poor. And when you when you pass the judgment that you are poor, then you can't really give to anyone or support anyone with love, light, or laughter. But right now, the whole group is supporting you with blessings, which is love, light, and laughter as a golden light from the third eye. And you are awakening to you the beauty, full beauty of your life. Oh. 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 The group is sending love to whoever is AF and whatever happened to two years ago. One year and nine months ago some change in circumstances that is created a stress and then of course eight months ago something professional as well as well so sending love to af and she or he is sending love to whatever happened one year and nine months and eight months ago oh oh Oh. 
the group is sending love to gunjan and she is very much traumatized by whatever happened at 17 years and 3 months and at 21 there is a new life and 21 years and 4 months there is a sort of break so whatever happened in 17 years 3 months and 21 years 4 months the group is sending to her love light and laughter from the third eye to her heart oh 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 now you have to see me i'm going to show you a certain angle of how you are going to be doing things so when i say om you're going to be raising your head slightly and om is going to be spoken here felt here in the center of the forehead but with your head slightly namo in the doorway of your consciousness and shivai you are going to be sending om namo shivaya gratitude to the supreme so the your face is going to be slightly upward and from the center of your pineal gland oh namo and then you are in direct communication with the infinity in the center of the universe om namo shivaya om namo shivaya and now take your tongue and stick it up like roll it so that it touches so energy is going to be released from your heart and you are going to be taking it to the throat through the tongue to this center point and then from there redirect it to the center of the universe om namo shivaya so now the core is your heart oh going to the pineal gland and slightly upward om namo shivaya om namo shivaya now go down from the heart instead go down to the third chakra of your own self esteem and power so the first the third energy center in the center of your soul om namo here shivaya so that energy is flowing through you from the from the stomach where they your self esteem your self esteem is activated your heart is already open as the energy goes past it everything that the energy touches it opens namo to your third eye and from the third eye portal it's going to the center of the universe om namo shiva om namo shiva with your tongue feel the flow of energy om namo shivaya this is an advanced class but you will feel it as the group is doing together om namo shivaya as you reach out to the center of the universe om namo shivaya om sent your third energy center which is in the navel where there is a fire of your power center your self esteem and power center om namo the heart is already open because the energy is flowing through it namo in the center your third eye and then to the center of the universe slightly above chin up chin up om namo shivaya om namo shivaya and you can bless yourself the lord which is in everything and everyone bless me with the pure intuition and clarity bless me with pure intuition and clarity om namo shivaya om namo shivaya om namo shivaya see yourself from tomorrow a fearless giver of love light and laughter for everyone on the planet see yourself that visualization that imagination right now is creating your life from tomorrow you are becoming from a consumer 
you are becoming a giver of joy for others. Om Namo Shiva. Om Namo Shiva. Feel the blessing, the energy flowing up and down, up and down, like an escalator going up and up. Om Namo Shiva. You have established, we have established, and I can confirm that with each one of you individually, direct contact with the center of the universe, which is somewhere there, but also in the deepest part of your heart. Dula, Om Namo Shiva. Om Namo Shiva. Yes, feel the golden light coming up and going up and down. Sweta, Om Namo Shiva. Patop Lubofne Neri, Agromni Patopatibu. Verknis, Verknis. Ipramivatsu, for simple. Om Namo Shiva. Yes, Zarina. Om Namo Shiva. Expand it to Tibia Ojin Tonga Linyam. Just the whole group, just help Zarina. Om Namo Shiva. It is there, but it's very, yes, now, and make it a golden. It's, it's, in your case, it is silver. Om Namo Shiva. So we are all connected as one with all of humanity, and we offer our enlightenment to the whole of you know, humanity as a service. And now, we expand our consciousness to be one with the one that we are touching base with. The center of eternity where we are in connection with is unconditional love, pure unconditional love. So that unconditional love is what is infecting us. And we are becoming pure instruments of spreading unconditional love. Om Namo Shiva. Yes, Jim. Om Namo Shiva. Om Namo Shiva. Yes, Laura. Om Namo Shiva. Om Namo Shiva. Om Namo Shiva Gunjan. Om Namo Shiva. Galya Patok Agrom Nesha Patok Tam Iv Samatsinka Achishaitsa. It cheres sersa, it prayama cheres yazik, it rite glas, if a centre selenesa group. Om Namo Shiva. Iabratma Patok. Om Namo Shiva. Om Namo Shiva. Irina. Om Namo Shiva. Om Namo Shiva. Hal, yes, and let it go to your diseases wherever they are in the lower body and let the energy spread there also and do healing. Om Namo Shivai. Om Namo. Yes, Preeti, you can include everyone in your life in this. Om Namo Shivai. Om Namo Shivai. Om Namo Shivai. Om Namo Shivai. Catherine. Om Namo Shiva, Om Namo Shiva. Let the energy flow at whatever rate. Don't try to control. Be controlled by the energy of blessings during this interaction with Shiva. Om Namo Shiva. Om Namo Shiva. Yes, Laura. And let go of all your past, Laura. Let go of whatever happened four years ago. You are still struggling with whatever happened four years ago, four years and one month ago. Whatever happened, let it go. Om Namo Shiva. Om Namo Shiva. If Om Namo Shiva. Om Namo Shiva. Up and down. Om Namo Shiva. Kate. Om Namo Shiva. Sasemi Swami. Moj Rabot at Sasemi Swami Rabot. Om Namo Shiva. Om Namo Shiva. Where come Om Namo Shiva? Me is Om Namo Shiva. In me, restore answer. We are vanishing as people and we are now pure energies of love, light, and laughter, ready to serve the universe forever. No time limit. Om Namo Shiva, Luba, Dalt, Achishatu, the Balizni to the Mornachis, Vetam Pramifki, Om Namo Shiva.
Marina, oh, no, she was. Lilia, Now go beyond the mantra and feel the full vibration and bless yourself. Blagaslavlate sibes to say to momenta vibudite atkrite intuitsa. Atkrita intuitsa означает atkrite sersa, ni pragmaticeski jit. A jit pa zakonu lovzi se lesni, vot eta atkrite glas. You stop living pragmatically in terms of money, money, money. You now live as instruments spreading the intuition and clarity about unconditional love, which is the universe, which is God, which is you. But not that part of you, which is your body or the thoughts in your head or how you think, which you like so much. This is just body, mind and intellect. Right now, you are pure golden energy. Divine, unconditional love. You touch base through your third eye with the center of the universe. The center of the universe is the same as the center of your heart. And you feel the energy, blessings that you are giving to yourself. Golden flow from, from the center of your third energy centers, from your stomach where it's your power center. Om Namo Shiva. Part of it is your sexual energy is also changing. Like a volcano going up and down. Om Namo Shiva. And from a consumer. At Patribitila. Kistanavis at Daryuni Ange Daryushi Lubov. Oh. a lotus opening in your third eye. The stem of it, the roots of it are in your stomach and a lotus is opening in your third eye, opening and unfolding. Oh. And you're offering the gifts of your intuition, which means the ability to see unconditional love in everything and everyone. You're offering the gifts. We kapadarak adayote svetok svei atkrite intuici, katori yavlaitsa sposobnes uvidit bezuslovne lubvi divne fasyom isek. I pamot sem katori vimmi mojim svei zhiznim, svem dikhanim, svei mimislem. And help others in any which way that we can, with your thoughts, with your prayers, with your love, with your heart, with your blessings. Don't judge anyone for being money or material. Just look at them like children playing with toys. Um, see the golden flower of your intuition opening in the center of your forehead. So that the true you is unfolded as a giver of joy, not 
focused on, oh, I must have this house, I must have this money, I must have this love, I must have this respect, I must have this. This list keeps on going. You are self-fulfilled, fulfilled and you are whole. Your intuition is totally open to your own golden light, which needs nothing but the ability to give love and healing to others as a blessing. So all your cold and feeling of loneliness and being hurt are burnt off. Om Namah Shiva Sveta, so that all your physical issues and balance are burnt off. Om Namah Shiva Ji, Om Namah Shiva Lora, so that your heart is full of love and laughter. Om Namah Shiva, Om Namah Shiva, Om Namah Shiva Zarina. Om Namah Shiva, Om Namah Shiva, Om Namah Shiva Zarina. Om Namah Shiva, Om Namah Shiva, Om Namah Shiva Zarina. You ask for it. Gunyan Om Namah Shiva, Om Namah Shiva, Om Namah Shiva. Gale, Stuya Galave, Nibalavini Kakora Stuya, Om Namah Shiva, Om Namah Shiva. Irina Stuya says to Nibalavi Perejivani Padoj, Om Namah Shiva, Om Namah Shiva, Om Namah Shiva. Health so that the lower part of your body is healthy and you can manage your health. Om Namah Shiva, Om Namah Shiva. Preeti Om Namah Shiva, Om Namah Shiva, Om Namah Shiva. Preeti for all your relationships. Shoes. Om Namah Shiva, Om Namah Shiva, Om Namah Shiva AF, Om Namah Shiva Kat, Stay Galava Vila Balance, Om Namah Shiva. You must to be the Rover Villa Bis. Om Namah Shiva, Om Namah Shiva, Om Namah Shanil, Om Namah Shiva Marin, Om Namah Shanil. Om Namah Shiva. Om Namah Shiva, Om Namah Shiva, Om Namah Shiva. Work with the technique. Tanga, Om Namah Shiva, and asking and blessing yourself. So that your third eye is open, which enables you to see unconditional love in everything and everyone. And by being in touch with Shiva, you acquire the characteristics of Shiva. So that is the third level of awareness. The first level is I need mine. This is my life. The second level is, oh, the people on this planet, they are suffering. They are my brothers. They are my sisters. They are me. And the third level of suffering, of being in, that the universe is in me, I am in universe, and the name of the universe is Shiva, Christ consciousness, Buddha, whichever, whichever, Allah, whichever is it. It's all, everything is, everything is unconditional love. 
and then the conditional love is hidden in it. Om Namah Shiva. Om Namah Shiva. Om Namah Shiva. If you have any questions, you can ask right now. <laughs>